Hello, hello, hello. Come on in. Glad you guys are here. Let's let everybody get uh, settled. Happy Friday. It's the weekend somewhere. So glad that you guys are here. All right, phone is turned off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'll introduce myself. Hello, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher today. Welcome to class. Uh, you all are Maggie scholars. We are a community of people who love to eat. Um, I like to cook, I love to cook. I'm just a mom and a home cooker. I've been on a health and wellness journey maintaining about a 75 pound weight loss with at least 25 more to go. Hey, Miles, come on in. Uh, and I've done this by getting tested for food sensitivities. That's my list back there on the fridge. Uh, and for me, that was a cheek swab on the inside plus uh, some hair samples. <laughs> and so I have a list of foods that I can have and then I have a list of foods that I have to avoid. So everything that we do here uh, are recipes that I would make for the family, but I just substitute the ingredients that I used to love for the foods for the foods that love me back. But if you can have the full flavor, you can make all this stuff with the regular ingredients. So I'll talk you guys through my substitutions. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Miles. All right. So tonight we're doing a little something special. It's an impromptu um We'll call it a special request. Hey, Tracy, come on in, everyone. So this morning I did a breakfast um, demo. This is kind of turned into like a, a cooking, um, cooking how-to show. And um, we had Condemnia on. I don't know if he's going to be able to join in. Hey, God's girl, come on in. And um, I'm always asking you guys, feel free to spam me with uh, recipes. I love trying things and uh, challenging myself. And Condemnia asked for a veggie omelet. I should have screenshotted it. Hey, um, but I think he asked for green peppers, which I don't have. I have yellow and red peppers. He said that's fine. Uh, green pepper, mushroom, onion, tomato, and garlic. Condemnia! You're here! Condemn is here. All right, so we are doing our first, we need a name for it. So I just called it Special Request. Um, but um, I don't know, Maggie's Meal by Request. I'm glad you're here, uh, Condemn you. We'll let a few more people come in. I'll do a little bit of an unboxing. And then I'm going to just walk you guys through how to make a veggie omelet. Um, you can make this, you know, as fancy or as simple as you want to. You can do it with... Uh, Bacon on the side. Maybe I'll do that too. Some turkey bacon. But we're going to make an omelet. And I'm glad you're here, Condemnia. Condemnia, because you're going to make sure that I make it right the way that you would like it. All right. So I'm always talking about my delivery services. And I got a few things that came in. So we're going to open. I work from home, thankfully, which keeps me out of the stores. Hey, Titanium. Hey, Mona, the moderator. Mona, make sure you share your channel too. She's helping me keep the uh, chat going um, so that my hands are free to cook. But I'm always talking about these um, delivery services that I use to keep me out of the stores. I know that one of my issues is impulse buying. And because I work from home, thankfully, I use Amazon Prime, Walmart Plus, Shipped, Instacart, all of them. And I believe the links are in the description or will be very soon. I'm working on that. Hey, Cindy. <laughs> you guys, I love it. Welcome, scholars. Welcome to class. You're never late in Maggie's class. Feel free to multitask and enjoy yourself. Ah! Hey, we got bathrooms and multiple bathrooms to clean. So... <laughs> This is not about cooking, but I did order these. Um, these are just the toilet bowl cleaners and uh, you use them once and then you toss them. That toilet brush thing that you put back in the canister to me kind of creeps me out. I'm a little bit, a lot of bit of a germ phobe, but um, 
Clorox has this like wand system. I don't know if you can see. And then you attach this little um, scrubber, get in there. And I've taught the boys. Um, I think there's four and a half bathrooms. So I taught everybody clean your toilets and I'm coming for inspection. Um, plus I also like to have these in my guest suite. I'm also an Airbnb hostess and so I make sure that I have cleaning supplies. But this is just an example of when I need like an item, I'll put this on my Walmart uh, Plus or Amazon list and then have it delivered so I don't have to drive and park and see displays of yummy stuff that I don't need. All right, so we've got a refill on these. We got two more. We have another box. Since you all, some of you were here this morning. Hey, Needs Watches, y'all. Please celebrate Needs Watches. He just crossed over the 1,000 mark. So again, if you have a YouTube channel, Mona, starting with you, but anyone who has a channel, please put your channel in the chat. And Mona, please uh, put that up or you guys can see. You're here to support me, so I want to support you. Needs watches, knows all about watches. Today I'm wearing the, the Kate Spade, so that's what I got. Oh, hey, Vel. Oh, my goodness. I love having you guys here. We have another Walmart box that arrived. Let's see what we got. And, yes, I do recycle, so I care about the planet. I'm just not, you know, I'm not going to sacrifice my convenience. Okay. And then just to go with the <laughs> toilet tissue, just to go with the toilet cleaner, um, I'm trying to do better. The bulk buying, another thing that I used to do, look, if you um, go to Costco and Sam's Club and all that stuff, that's totally fine. I'm trying to have less things. I'm just surrounded by things. And so I'm trying to do like uh, when I use the last roll or when someone uses the last roll, then I place an order so that I don't have stuff stockpiled. If you have a stockpile, please do what works for you. And then I just got some coconut uh, secret. It's a, a new, I guess, a dry spray. Maybe it's a deodorant spray. Hey, so that was in this box. And then one more. So let's put this. Am I out upstairs or downstairs? We'll put this over here. I know some people like to go to the store and go up and down the aisle. I just don't because I end up spending more money, wasting more time, and probably eating what I don't need. <clears throat> All right, last box, and then we're going to get started. Amazon Prime. Anybody else order stuff and then you forget, and then the box comes, and you're like, who's ordering all this stuff? I have a subscription that I need to turn off. These are cotton balls. You can use them for cleanup, for makeup, which I don't really wear, but cotton balls. All right, so that's all. I didn't get any food deliveries today. I did get a giveaway box. Maybe we'll go through that at the end, but we're gonna get started on Condemnia's omelet. I'm not using vegan eggs, titanium. Ah, uh, is Miss Lady in here? So, okay, y'all, let's be clear on this. <laughs> okay, Condemnia, I hope I understood. When you ask for a veggie omelet, the way I understand a veggie omelet is an omelet with real eggs, but vegetables inside. So that's what I'm making tonight. If you meant a plant-based omelet, I don't have that. You can use the just eggs. I have used those before. Um, they're okay. In my opinion, the texture is good. You kind of get that eggy texture, but it tastes like vegetables, which is strange because you know how egg kind of has that mild creamy taste. So when you anticipate the egg taste, it tastes like vegetables, but like in a scramble or whatever, it gives you that kind of like, you know, uh, egg texture. 
Okay, condemn you. You were thinking that. Oh, God. All right. So, um, hello, hello. Yes. Okay, I'm just trying to keep up here. Oh, Miss Lady said fried biscuits and beyond sausage. Fried biscuits, I wish. Not yet for me. Alright, taking this to the garage. Alright, I'm gonna wash my hands and put my apron on and we're gonna get started. And I'm just gonna wipe off the counter. Anytime I bring in packages from outside, I wanna make sure my surface is clean. So we do have an apron update for anyone who was uh, on this morning. Um, I can't remember who, y'all have to keep me honest. One of y'all suggested, just like you're helping me, <laughs> and you named yourself the scholars, so you guys are Maggie scholars. One of you all suggested that I need merchandise. I hadn't gotten there yet. Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only three months old, so we're getting started. Hey, Snuggles. Oh, thank you. Snuggles, you keep asking me to drop the link. Are you ready to cook? Because that's what I do here. <laughs> um, there are a lot of channels that people are talking on, but um, I am actually cooking today. I'm making Condemia's omelet. So I don't know if y'all can see, I actually got an omelet, an omelet, an apron that has my name on it. Um, but you guys mentioned merchandise and thank you, Miss Lady. Um, you guys mentioned merchandise and uh, my logo or avatar. So I may come up with some ideas. And if you're, please make sure you're subscribed to me on YouTube. I'll try and do like the poll feature if I can. Um, and I'm going to try and find, you know, um, an apron, you know, something that anybody who wants, of course not required, um, with something about Maggie, the substitute teacher, maybe the adult version and the kid version. <sighs> Snuggle. Snuggles. Okay. I'm going to give one little disclaimer. Um, Snuggles, let me know when you're ready to cook and then I'm going to get cooking. We do have a cook along option, which is what I want to do, which is what, how I want to uh, share. If you guys want to do it, I've done it twice with Lisa. We made crab cakes once and then we made the squash lasagna. So, Hey Dottie, titanium. Yes. A cookbook. <laughs> I love it so much, y'all. Everything is coming in. When we put the cookbook together, I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to do like an interactive cookbook. So it'll be a proper book with a picture and the recipe. <laughs> but then also I'm going to do like a QR code so you can scan the QR code in the recipe book and then it'll take you to a video of me actually making that um, that item in the cookbook. So uh, thank you so much. Um, that's how this whole thing started. Um, I'll tell you more about that, but before I forget, so Snuggles or anybody else who wants to come up, I can't really do it impromptu because I'm cooking, but um, if you're interested in a cook along, all you have to do, let's say tonight, we're doing Condemnia's omelet. Veggie omelet is what he requested. So for the cook along, you can do three different ways. Level one is just what you're doing now. Sit back, relax, and let me cook for you. Level two, if you want to also make the same item, uh, I'll post the recipe or you pick the recipe. You can make the full flavor version. I'll always make my substitute version, but you can do it off camera and then you can just post your final result and tag me or inbox me. Level three, if you want snuggles, we just need to connect beforehand and then what I'll do is I'll bring you uh, on screen and I'll be cooking and you'll be cooking and we'll go through the recipe together in real time. So if you want to do this, the cook along snuggles, you just let me know. All right. 
Titanium, do you mean the um, the QR code? I'm stealing shamelessly from another chef, Chef Aaron Morley, but I love the interactive cookbook because, I mean, I've got cookbooks and you do need a cookbook, but wouldn't it be nice if I had like a little special video that was just for uh, the cookbook where I'm kind of walking you through or showing you what it should look like at every step? So thank you. Miss Lady needs a pink apron and oven mitts. I love it. QR code. Okay, good. So you like the interactive cookbook. Well, I love having you all here and I love cooking for you. So condemn you. Let's get started. All right. So I have nothing on the counter. I'm going to walk through everything uh, explaining what I do. So I'm going to use the stove today because I need the nonstick. So I will have to go kind of back and forth, but I am going to put my little um, cooktop here. So I'm going to saute the veggies. So I got this from Amazon. This is a little one burner glass top uh, cooktop and I set it here in front of me so that I don't have to be walking back and forth. We're going to get some equipment over the stove so you guys can see what I'm doing. But, you know, for now, it's just, um, you know, me walking back and forth. Yes, where is it? Oh, thank you, Mona. Yes, Mona the moderator. And yes, don't forget, uh, if you've got a YouTube channel, we can definitely shout you out. Or a business, definitely want to support. Um, so we're going to be doing the veggie omelet. And I'm going to cut up the ingredients that Condemia wanted. And I'm going to saute them here. And then kind of make um, my you know, vegetables first, and then I'm going to put them in the omelet on the stove because this glass top only works on certain dishes. It won't work on nonstick. All right, so let's move that to, to the side. Let me get a cutting board and let's start prepping our veggies. All right, I think my garlic is over there. I actually like this part. It's just kind of therapeutic, but I had a whole garlic clove. So I have one clove of garlic, garlic here and fresh garlic. Now, of course, if you have the one in the um, jar, I'm going to take my time. So I hope you guys are okay. Oh, mushrooms, peppers, spinach. I don't have olives. Uh, garlic and herbs and spices. Yes, absolutely. So no tomato. Okay, condemnia. Let me know if no tomato. We'll start with the garlic. You got it. If you guys have, this is just Walmart already minced garlic. You can spoon this in too, but I'm going to use fresh. So fresh garlic kind of has this like papery skin on it. So in order to peel it, you put a knife over top and then you smash it down, I'll show you, to kind of break the, um, the paper skin. And then that allows you to peel it. You want to get to this side. You did say tomato. Okay, I thought you said tomato. I don't have olives. And then we're going to do um, red and yellow peppers. So keep me on track, Condemnia, because this meal is for you. And if anybody else wants to make a special request, I love challenging myself. All right, so here is our garlic clove. And I'm just going to go ahead and do everything by hand. I was thinking I'll use the, the chopper, but I'll do everything by hand. I'm just going to cut off the little end of the garlic that's got like, I don't know, where the little sprout is. And then I'm going to dice it. So we have one garlic clove here. All right, you don't have to have very fancy, nice skills. I'm just going through, that's kind of big. I'm just going through first and then I'm going to turn it. And then you can also put your hand on it and just You just want small pieces. Garlic has a very interesting taste. I like it. 
And Condemia, you let me know if one garlic clove is not enough, too much, or just right. So what I'm doing is I'm using a rocking motion with my hand to kind of go around to chop it up into small pieces, then just scrape it off and go back through it. That's a great way to teach kids how to cut to keep their hands out of it. You can see there. Oxtails, okay. I saw some in the store. That's not bad. Those are good in like, um, not a crock pot. What is the new crock pot? That power cooker thing? Just a little thing about me. I don't know. You guys let me know how much time you want to spend, but I I have always tried to keep my meals around 30 minutes. Um, I think it just comes from, you know, I've been corporate since college. I work from home now, thankfully. But um, just being able to like come home at the end of the day and throw a meal together for the family because everybody's hungry and everybody's looking at you, right? Okay, Condemia. All right. So we've got our garlic. You can see that's diced up. Let me get the other veggies together. All right, so I have some red pepper and some yellow pepper. I think Condemia asked for green, but he has approved the um, other colors that I have. So I just have the bottom of a yellow pepper and the top of a red pepper, the little hat. So with these, I'm just gonna follow the natural groove. So I'm just gonna cut it in half and then cut it in half again. I'm doing everything on the same cutting board. And this is something that, if you're bored on the weekends, what mom used to do, because she's the one who taught me, get all of your ingredients prepped and ready. You guys have seen me use the meal prep containers, and then it makes it easier to throw things together when you're ready to eat. Oh, you guys, I see the conversation, um, kind of. You know what? I'm going to make this full screen so that I can see, uh, since Mona, the moderator, is helping me. So if there's a question or something that I need to respond to, um, put it on the screen, please, and that way I will actually see it. But when they're scrolling through, sometimes I miss. So I'm chopping up your yellow peppers. We're going to do a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red. And I like kind of slivers of peppers. Just make it, the key with the chopping is just to make it small enough for a bite. You just want it to fit on the fork. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so we've got our yellow peppers. So we've got our garlic and we've got our yellow peppers. Now I'm gonna move on to the red. You can smell it already. <laughs> All right, so let's do our red pepper. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh, I said I was gonna do some, let me know. Well, Condemnia asked for a veggie omelet, so I wanna honor his request, but um, I was thinking about doing some turkey bacon on the side, but I can do like um, a candied bacon. All right, I'll get distracted. All right, just pull the uh, little stem out and let me just rinse it off. Isn't it nice like when you travel and you go to those hotels that have the, um, ooh, I'm hungry. When you go to those hotels that have the, um, what's it called? You know, like the breakfast bar. And I'm just gonna break this on the groove and I'm gonna chop this up. They have the omelet station and everything is um, prepped and ready. So Miss Lady says, professional chefs, which I am not, y'all know I'm not a chef, I'm just a home cooker, they call it Miss and Plock, I don't know, maybe my French, I don't know. Oh yes, absolutely. Prep your ingredients, absolutely. It just makes it easy. Then when you have your ingredients, you can toss them in soups, you can toss them in stews, you can do whatever you like. Whatever you like. And this is good because we're gonna have lots of color in our omelet. We've got people in Indiana, hello. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're not new. 
I love all of my scholars. Welcome to Maggie's class. I am your substitute teacher. All right, so now we have our red peppers. And I'm just doing enough for one because uh, this is Condemnia's special request. Instapot, that's what it is for the oxtails. Okay, I don't have one of those, but I've had oxtails like at the Jamaican restaurant. So good. I do have a challenge on Saturday, May 7th. I don't know if Amethyst is in the house. Misen plus, Mise, okay, yeah, I'm, I know I'm butchering it. Ah, you wanna see the turkey bacon, Mona? Just butterball. It's okay. Um, I did get one from Sprouts once that was really good. It's not the real, it was the closest to the real bacon consistency because I think it was made from like dark meat, but I'll show you and get the mushrooms. Okay, turkey bacon, yep. <clears throat> So it's falling apart here. So Mona, let me know if you just wanted to see this or you want me to make the black pepper bacon or the candied bacon. That can go in the air fryer at the same time. So this is just regular old butterball turkey bacon. And y'all know turkey bacon, it's not bad. It's what's approved for me right now. I'm still trying to lose when I get the rest of this weight off. But um, yeah, it's palatable. If you do um, good shawls, okay, great. Ooh, look at that. Thank you, Mona. Um, it's palatable to me if you do a lot of fresh cracked black pepper, which I'll show you guys. I need to refill my pepper grinder anyway. Um, yes. So by itself, it kind of tastes like deli meat. The one that I do not re recommend, which I did use this morning, Oh, condemn you, that sad bacon. Let me show you, y'all. I do not recommend this. I bought it. I don't want to waste, so I'm not going to throw it out, but I got this at Whole Foods. Y'all know how they make that already cooked bacon that you can buy in the cardboard box? I put this in my pepper this morning by itself. I would not re recommend. If you chop it up and put it in something, it's okay, but this is the sad bacon. So once I use it, I won't buy that again. <sighs> Whatever you like, Maggie. <laughs> Whatever I like. Heat in the kitchen. All right, so I bet you on that sometimes people do meatless Mondays uh, if you're a vegetarian. You know, there's all kind of things. So um, I may just grab pick this up. I'm gonna snack on something. What I want to do is I want to make sure I get Condemnia's omelet going but I have completely changed the way that I eat and snack. I'm going to be snacking on this beef jerky while I'm making this omelet. These are the kind of snacks that I keep in my car. Hey, Hardev. These are the kind of snacks that I keep in my car or um, in my purse, like if I'm going to be out and about running errands so that I don't get too hungry. And if you guys saw earlier, I did some cheese and crackers. I posted that on my community tab on YouTube. They were cauliflower crackers and goat's cheese, which is what I'm gonna use in the omelet. Of course, if you have, if you can have full dairy, use mozzarella or pepper jack, whatever you like, whatever you like. But um, this is another thing that I would find extra sugar in, um, especially like some of the teriyaki flavors. So I try to save my sugar for things that are supposed to be sweet. Um, my metabolic specialist said that everything I eat needs to have under six grams of sugar. So what I eat is pretty much lean protein, some veggies and fruits, the low sugar ones, very little starch and almost no sugar. Okay, next. 
Mushrooms for Condemnia's omelet. I have fresh mushroom. Sorry, that's rude. <laughs> so I did wash the mushroom. I was watching Bon Appetit earlier and they were kind of going through some cooking myths saying that you shouldn't wash your mushrooms. You should just brush them to get whatever dirt and stuff off. I know it's a fungus, but look. So I'm just gonna do one. I'm cooking for one. This is for Condemnia. Of course, if you're gonna be cooking for the family, you'll wanna have more. And I'm going to do the mushroom in slices. I just think that's pretty. Now, you could dice it, but I still want it to kinda of look like a mushroom when we cut into it. So I'm just going down the mushroom like this. And they'll saute up nicely. Okay, of course, if you want to dice them, you could dice them small pieces. All right, Condemnia, we have your garlic, yellow pepper, red pepper, and mushroom. Oh, tomato. Neck bones. Oh, that's what you're making. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to lose this weight. You got me eating oxtails and neck bones? Oh. Here. So we have on the vine tomatoes. Love them. Who always looks hungry? Who's hungry? Oh, y'all, see, this is what happens. I don't know. So we have on the vine tomatoes. So I'm going to take one of these. I just love how they're like <laughs> still on the vine. So let's find a nice one for Condemnia, a nice plump red one. So we're gonna take this off and we'll wash it for you. And we're gonna dice it up. Oh yeah, music. I love music when I'm cooking, all of that. It makes me happy. All right, washing the tomato. I love how y'all are having whole conversations. Hey, Amethyst. And I am drinking, so I'm snacking on my uh, beef jerky. And this is iced coffee. Well, it was with ice, but y'all know it melted with almond milk. And my zero calorie um, sugar-free vanilla sweetener. If anybody doesn't know what that is, I'll show you. But I wanna focus on Condemnia's omelet. We're doing a special request, our first uh, Maggie meal by request. So we're going to dice this tomato. I'll cut it in half and then I'll cut it in quarters. And I'm only going to cut up what I'm going to use for Condemnia's omelet. If you don't have really good cooking skills, that's fine. C cutting skills, cut it in half and then cut it in half again. All right. So we have a nice juicy tomato. My kids like to eat well, one of them, he gets it from his dad. Um, my ex-husband liked slicing tomatoes with just salt, just like sometimes people put watermelon, salt on watermelon. Another really good snack. I think Dottie Girl, you said you've done it. Get the tomato, cut it like sandwich slice wise, line it on a tray, sprinkle with whatever cheese you like and Italian seasoning, put it under the broiler for like five minutes excellent snack. All right, let me get this cut up for Condemnia. So we're just going to dice our tomato. Into some bite-sized pieces. Now the thing with the omelet, a little bit goes a long way. So you're going to see here with these veggies, I know sometimes when I'm greedy and I go to the you know, the hotel um, breakfast bar, and I said, I want an omelet with everything, and it's stuffed. <laughs> but um, that's okay. Oh, Condemnia, you didn't say how many eggs would you like? I was thinking a three-egg omelet because we have a lot here, but you let me know. 
All right, so we have some diced tomato. We have our garlic chopped. We have our yellow pepper, red pepper, and fresh mushroom. So our veggies are ready. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna do this in two steps. I'm gonna saute the vegetables first. Just the peppers and mushroom. Condemn you, you didn't say onion, right? Um, and then we'll put the tomatoes in fresh. You could put all of this stuff in fresh and it gives you, you know, a little bit more texture if you like your veggies al dente, but I'm gonna soften the uh, mushroom and peppers for you. Let me know if that's okay. Okay, cleaning my work surface. So again, just for my class, so that I can talk to you all, I'm gonna plug in this little Duxton induction cooktop. Link should be in the description. So I'm gonna plug this up and um, I'm gonna saute the vegetables in a little bit of oil and butter. Did Condemnia say how many eggs? I'm thinking a three egg omelet for you. Yeah. So the only thing about this cooktop, I do love it because, oh yes, you want onion? Okay, no problem, you got it. Um, would you like red onion? I know I have red onion. Do I have yellow onion? Let me, okay. let's make sure we get our onion in there. Back to the chopping. All right, let me know if red onion is okay, condemn you. I can look for yellow onion. If you, onion, let's throw it in there. Oh, okay. I don't know if he, red onion is what I got. So I'm just gonna do a quick little, just a few slivers. I don't even really have to chop much because it came off in these little slivers. So I'll just do like a little chop and plus that gives us some nice red onion works. Thank you, sir. That gives us some nice color. I may have a yellow onion in there, but all right. So now our veggies, we have red onion, tomato, mushroom, red pepper, yellow pepper, and the garlic. Yes. I like all the veggies too. And that's a great way to get in fiber, keeps you full. It's just good for all the things. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a home cooker. But, um, you know, some people don't really like onion that much. So always ask when you're hosting uh, if anybody has any, you know, allergens or preferences. That's what I try to do. Okay, so now we're going to saute these veggies. This cooktop that I have, I do like it that it works. Uh, wonderful. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Condemnia. This cooktop that I have, it works really fast and I like that I can put it on the counter so I'm not going back and forth to the stove, but it's particular what kind of pots it uses. So it won't work on my stainless. It has to have a certain kind of bottom. I don't know, but it will work on the stainless. So I'm going to use this to saute down the veggies, but for the omelet, I'm gonna use the nonstick so that it doesn't stick and that's gonna go on the stove. I don't know if anybody has like a glass uh, stove and you're familiar with that, um, but I have a, this is a gas cooktop. I have a glass stove. Yes, Mona, I love onions too. And red onions are the only ones that I'll eat raw um, on a burger or whatever, but I love them all sauteed. And I even have shallots too. Throw it in the pan. All right. So let me get the butter and oil that I'm using. <clears throat> right. 
So you can use olive oil, whatever oil that you like. My substitute version, this is MCT oil, which is a coconut based oil. Um, when I cook for others, of course, I make all the real stuff, real butter. But since I can't have dairy, I'm using this goat's butter. This is butter made from goat's milk. So I'm going to turn on the cooktop and then I'm going to start with just the garlic. So I'm going to put, let's say, three pumps of coconut oil and I'm just going to move it around so that I get good coverage in the pan because I want to saute the onions, mushrooms, and peppers and get those soft. The tomatoes we can put in fresh because we don't really want to stew them. All right. And then I'm also going to put in a little bit of butter. For me, I'm using goat's butter. It looks like butter, cooks like butter, tastes like butter, but it's made from goat's milk for me, but if you could have cow dairy, feel free to use regular butter. Let me get a knife. All right, so I'll put a nice healthy pat in here. All right, so we have our butter in with the oil. Let me turn this bad boy on. I usually multitask, but I want to stay here and focus because I want it to be perfect. And butter can go from solid to melted to like foaming to sizzling to burnt really fast. It's already melting down. I'll show you guys. All right, let's get it to melt down. All right, now it's starting to sizzle. All right, so now our solid stick of butter has melted down and it's starting to sizzle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the garlic in here. Just the garlic first. You want it to be fragrant So our garlic is sizzling up nicely. Oh, it smells amazing. Let me get a little. Keep an eye on it. The stainless is good, but you got to keep it moving because it can burn. Once you start to, oh, it smells heavenly. Once you start to smell it opening up like that and the oils are coming out, now I'm going to put, man, this thing is fast. It's already starting to brown. Can you see the, I'll show you. The garlic pieces are already starting to brown. All right. So we're going to go in with the onion. And your peppers condemn you. <laughs> so colorful. And your mushroom. Everything but the tomato. We're having breakfast for dinner. Let's trash that. All right, so let's keep this moving. Now I'm going to season. I'm gonna do salt and pepper. Do you want the herbs, the province, Condemia? Do you have, um, we've got the garlic in here, so salt and pepper might be all you need. Turn this down. Let's just do a little salt. Salt it while it's cooking and we'll taste. They're looking beautiful. I'm just going to keep stirring until the vegetables soften in that oil and butter. Titanium, where are you? <coughs> Smells amazing. Everything is sizzling and dancing around. 
You'll see how it's changing. Ah, thank you, Miles. Yes, absolutely. I turned the fire down a little bit. The only thing about this uh, coconut oil that's been approved for me is it has a low smoke point, which means on high heat, it can smoke up. So I try to cook it on low and just keep my eyes on it. So all I'm doing, guys, is just moving it around the pan. I don't want any hot spots. I don't want anything to burn. And I'm going to take a small piece of onion or something mushroom and taste it just to make sure the flavor is good. You want flavor in the egg and you want flavor in the filling. You want flavor in every bite. Always keep tasting spoons. and keep them separate from what you're cooking with, unless you're cooking for one. All right, so let's find a little sliver of onion, red onion. A little more salt and keep going. Yes, you guys, my scholars are all welcome to connect with each other. I love this community that we're building of people who love to eat people who love to cook, or people who, I don't know, want to watch me cook. Avocado oil. Yes, Tanya. I wish I could have it. MCT is what I have to use, but yes, thank you for sharing that. Avocado is a great oil, and I have all that stuff in there, but I come live when I'm eating to cook for you guys. Looking good. I'm going to go just a little bit longer. I like a nice saute. I only eat two meals a day, and um, this channel has turned into me coming in here when I am cooking a meal that I'm going to eat. So in honor of Condemnia, I'm having breakfast for dinner, which is great. You know, I do it for the kids, but they get real biscuit, pancakes, log cabin syrup, Oscar Mayer bacon. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. I think it is fine, Condemnia, but I'm gonna let you approve because this is your meal. I'll let you see what we have so far. No, the red onion, you can see that. The red onion, absolutely not. Let me know if this is okay for your saute. And I'm gonna taste one more time. Um, red onion, that's why it's the only one that I can eat raw. It doesn't make me tear up all right so i'm gonna unplug this it looks pretty amazing okay good let's let condemn you this is your meal so let me know how your veggies look i'm gonna taste one more time new tasting spoon <laughs> try just a little bit of mushroom mm. Whew. Whew. it's good all right so we have our veggies here. Now we're going to make our egg. So we'll leave that there. Let me get your eggs. Again, I am using whole eggs. You can use egg beaters or you can use egg substitute, but I eat eggs, so condemn me. I hope you do too. All right, so I like this little glass gravy boat. Got it from Walmart. It lets me see what's going on inside and it's sturdy. Stays cool when I put it in the microwave. Those veggies look really good, y'all. You could do like chop up all your veggies and just have them sauteed in a little meal prep container. And then throughout the week, if you're making, you know, an omelet, toss them in. If you're making like rice and some meat, toss them on top. If you're making like a sandwich, you know, like a panini, put them inside. Have all of your vegetables um, prepped and ready. That's what Nana taught me. All right. So Condemnia, I don't know if I missed it, but let me know if a three egg omelet is okay. If you only want two, we can do two. I think three would give us, you know, a nice portion. Oh, y'all, the crumb snatchers. 
Y'all, the boy, I have two boys. I'm amicably divorced from their father. Uh, so they were home for Easter weekend. I have one in boarding school. <sighs> yeah, he goes to military school. He wants to be a pilot. And then the other one, the 14 year old is finishing the semester with dad because he's 14 and uh, it's heavenly to cook for one. I have cooked for them since they were, you know, before they even remember. And when they were home this weekend, OMG. Let me wash my hands. I love it and I complain about it. All right, so Condemnia, I'm going, two or three eggs is good? Okay, I was gonna say. So I have three eggs here. Now before I beat them, I'm gonna salt and pepper them. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of foil over your um, veggies. They're fine, they're still on the uh, cooktop. But I'm just looking at them looking amazing and I want to just scoop them up and eat them. But that's going to go in your omelet. All right, so just out of sight, out of mind. <clears throat> so before I beat the eggs, I'm actually going to season them. So you have flavor in your eggs and flavor in your um, filling. So I'm going to do some salt. And then I'm gonna do some black pepper. We'll do a quick little demo. For these pepper grinders, I had to figure out how to refill them, but it actually comes apart. Maybe y'all know this, but I didn't. So you have to like unscrew this little top thing. I don't know what it's called, probably has a name. And then you take this top off and then you pour your peppercorns inside. So I have this to refill, just regular old black. You can get red peppercorns, who knows? Maybe there's white, I don't know. But literally, until they start falling over. So you can see, we're filled to the top. Yes, bye kids. Y'all know it's a whole different show when the kids are here. <sighs> when they're out of school for the summer, Yes, judge me. Y'all know these kids. They don't care about us. Like Michael Jackson said, all I want to say is they don't really care about us, right? They want what they want. All right. And then you put the top back on. So let's go ahead and pepper Condemnia's eggs. Oh, we get a nice little grind. You can use the pepper shaker. That's fine. But when you grind it fresh you're opening up that peppercorn and you get those oils that are inside really nicely all right so all i did is salt and pepper condemn let me know if you want anything else but we're just doing salt and pepper simple all right and then i'm using my chopstick to beat the eggs you want to get them as homogenous as you can that means you don't want to see any clear, which is the egg white. And you don't want to see any like balls of yellow, which is the yolk. So you really want to mix it well. All right, now I'm going to go to the stove and I'm going to get the nonstick and I'm going to cook your omelet in butter. Goat's butter for me. Um, you could cook it in oil. I like the butter flavor and also the butter gives it that nice brown. I'm gonna try and recreate the thumbnail. So I picked that up off the line. So we're gonna get him a nice stuffed omelet. All right, let's see. I think we can use... <clears throat> so I think we can use the medium. I'm gonna use my medium nonstick. So when you're cooking anything, that's runny, that can spread like eggs or pancake batter. I try to use the size of the pan that will um, kind of give me the shape that I want. You guys know when I'm doing the Maggie cakes, I try to use the small pan. That helps give it um, some shape because it can just run out and then you won't get that uniform look. Okay, y'all are still talking about, ooh, rosemary and oregano, you got it.
right. I was looking to see, I have some, we'll do a little bit of both. I have some Italian seasoning and I have some Herbe de Provence. I used this this morning, it was really good. This has got basil, fennel, parsley, oregano. We'll just put some of this in and then whip it up. All right, and then we'll do some Italian seasoning. This has oregano thyme, more of the same. Yes, let's get fancy, why not? You could do salt and pepper, or we could do herbs, right? So let me just whip it up. Ooh, it smells heavenly when you mix it up. All right, so now we've got some more flavor in our omelet. Absolutely, you can be as fancy as you wanna be. So now, I'm going to get the nonstick pan. I would use nonstick for an omelet. I don't have good luck in stainless steel. We used our stainless steel to saute. Our veggies are still looking great. They're still warm. All right, so let me get the knife. We're gonna cut another pat of butter. If you can have dairy, use regular butter. So I have a nice pat of butter. What I want, is I want it to melt down and coat the pan. That might be a little much, but if it's too much, I'll pour it out. But I don't want any dry spots and I don't want any hot spots. All right, so once our butter melts down, we want it to go from solid to melted to foaming and sizzling. The foaming is sizz and sizzling is when I'm gonna pour our beautiful eggs in there. And these are three whole eggs. I'm sure you could do this with egg beaters or egg substitute. Onion salt, yes, absolutely. I don't have onion salt. I did do regular salt. Uh, Condemn me if you want, I can put a little garlic salt in there, but we do have fresh garlic in the um, veggies. But if you want, how did we go to hair, nails, everything did? Y'all, I am, I am lost. I'm just over here cooking. Condemn you, let me know if you want any garlic salt. So our butter is melting down. I'm gonna move it around the pan. I wanna get every area coated so I don't have any hot spots or dry spots. And that's looking good. I'm gonna put it back on the stove so that I can get it to, um, oh my gosh, lime, pepper. I've never even heard of that. All right, condemn you. I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic salt in your eggs. Hopefully that's okay. Okay, so our butter is melted. Now I'm gonna wait for it to start sizzling. Okay. Condemn me, I hope you're with me. But you guys, please enjoy yourselves. I love having you here. Okay. You got it. I did a little bit, I won't do any more. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm not gonna taste the raw eggs, but you can see how our butter is now foaming. Now I'm gonna pour the eggs in. Okay, and I know my stove tilts to the back, so that's why I turned the um, skillet. So let's clean up as we go. We'll keep an eye on those eggs. We wanna get them set on the bottom, then we'll put our veggies inside. I'm going to show you guys what we have. If you see how the edges are starting to get that darker or brighter yellow, we're still jiggly in the middle. So I'm going to let it go a little bit longer and then we'll put our veggies in. So 
So unlike the French omelet, oh, condemn you, don't eat your computer. No, 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 no. Um, unlike the French omelet with this omelet, we're going to let it just set. So we'll get that nice browning and you want the middle to be a little bit soft, but not that jiggly because then when I close it over itself, I don't want the egg to splat. So I want it to have some structure. All right, it's coming along well, but I'm watching for air bubbles. <sighs> Very nice. All right. So what's starting to happen, if you guys can see here, the eggs are starting to set. And if you see it's moving well in the pan, that's because I got nice butter <laughs> at the bottom so it's not sticking. So when I go to flip it, hopefully we get that beautiful golden brown. But... Had it on medium high, I'm going to uh, turn it down to a medium now because what happens is as the heat is coming through, you'll see your omelet start to form like little bubbles, almost like they want to um, erupt. And you don't want to tear in your omelet, so I want to keep an eye on that. Beautiful. I think I'm ready to add the ingredients. So you see we have our nice seasoned and buttery omelet. So I'll do it here. Getting excited. All right. So you guys remember the vegetables that we sauteed. Oh, before that, the cheese. Cheese, please. Oh my goodness. How could I forget the cheese? All right. So I am, I know a virtual meal. Oh, remember I told you if you guys are in Atlanta and I know you, you're welcome to come here and I'll cook for you as long as you're willing to eat and taste on, um, on the live stream and tell everybody. Because I think stuff tastes good, but my palate has completely changed. <clears throat> okay, much better, even better. See how it's not moving now when I tilt it? We're still a little bit wet in the center. So I am using shredded goat's cheese. If you have Monterey Jack, mozzarella, use whatever you like. So I'm gonna put some cheese down on the egg itself. All right, so we have this. Now I'm gonna put our sauteed veggies. I know, Condemia. Do you have a favorite cheese? Your sauteed veggies look amazing. They look absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here for you. I'm putting them, should I put it on half? I'll put it on the whole thing. No, I'm gonna put it on half and then I'll flip and I'll tell you why. Let me go ahead and do it. I'm putting on half and I'll explain to you I'm gonna get you everything, all that mushroom, all that pepper, then we're gonna put those fresh tomatoes in. Yes. All right, it's going back to the stove. All right, so we've got our sauteed veggies on a pepper jack. Oh yes, pepper jack. Oh man, I had some pepper jack um, goat's cheese. A little spice. Yes, that would be good. All right. Now I'm going to put your fresh tomatoes in your omelet. All right, oh, Nana would be so proud. Look at that, look at that color. Doesn't that look good? And then, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can shred some pepper. Do I have any pepper jack? I'm gonna turn it on low. I'm gonna see, I think I might have some pepper jack. Ugh.
You are in luck. Dun, 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 dun. By request, special request for Condemnia, I have pepper jack cheese. So I'm going to shred this by hand for you. It's already melting down. It looks beautiful, but I'm going to put some pepper jack cheese on here just for you. <laughs> So it'll get you a nice flavor in your omelet. I'm just doing it by hand right over the skillet. Get you a nice pepper jack. Now, of course, this is goat's milk pepper jack for me, but if you have regular, use what you have now. You have your pepper jack cheese and your regular like cheddar cheese. So we have a two cheese omelet. And I'll go ahead and flip while I'm here. So the reason why I put the veggies and stuff on one side is because if I put it on the whole thing, when I go to flip, it might splat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the spatula and go all the way around. And now all I have to do is lift over. Oh, you can't see. Uh, all right, let's get a nice brown on there. It looks amazing. I'm so excited. Yes, I am not playing. Like I said, I love to challenge myself. All right, so let's clean up. So you got your pepper jack. Let's put everything away. Let's put our garlic away. And this garlic. anybody else do this? I'm scraping the leftover sauteed vegetable. Greedy. I don't want to waste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo. Yummy. All right. Let's put away, I found the mozzarella cheese. I found the manchego cheese. Yes, yeah, support each other, please. Type your business or channel in the comments, y'all. This video stays up forever, so use the air time. I'm waiting for a little bit of sizzle. I just want the heat to go all the way through all the layers and melt the cheese. <sighs> all right, clean it up. I saw sweatpants. I don't know what is happening now. Just wanting to get a little bit of brown on the eggs. Not a lot, but just a little brown. And then I'm gonna cut up an orange and plate it just like the thumbnail. We're getting a nice sizzle now, and then I'm gonna flip it over and we'll be done. We'll chat and chow. All right, I'm getting a nice little sizzle. I don't know. Let me see. The peak, I want a certain brown. Yeah. 
just a little bit more, but it's in there. See those veggies and cheese? Cleaning up. Your stretchy pants. Yes, especially at the holidays. Y'all know I'm wearing leggings. I'm wearing leggings. Absolutely. My stylist is like, you shouldn't wear an elastic waist. I know, I know. All right. Absolutely, Titanium. Thank you for being here. Cooking with all of our senses. I hear the sizzling. See if I can turn it over. Okay, so I got a little bit of brown. I'm gonna do the other side, just a little bit of brown. All right, let's get just putting away my tomato. You can smell it, Condemnia. I'm going to eat it for you. Just putting up my. Looks good. I am going to cut up an orange, just like the thumbnail. Nothing fancy, I'm just gonna quarter it. And we're gonna plate. And dinner is ready. Breakfast for dinner. I think we're just about done. All right, getting an orange. Just gonna peel it. Well, actually wash and cut it. I don't know what you like uh, with your omelet, condemnia, salsa or anything. But I think I'm done. If you guys saw the thumbnail, it had an orange. This is a little cutie. I could peel it, but just cut it. And I'm going to plate and take a picture. Check the other side, see which side has the best brown. Wait till you see this. Fruits and more veggies with the omelet. Okay. You got it. All right, so let me plate for you. I want it to come out perfect and not. Oh. We're gonna cut into it. Oranges and blueberries. <laughs> I think this is gorgeous, yeah. I 
All right, so Condemnia, I have some oranges here. Would you like some blueberries? I think that's the other fruit I have. Let me know, that'll be a nice pop of color. And then for additional veggies, do you want like fresh peppers, tomatoes? Oh, thank you. All right. I'm gonna put some blueberries in a little container, rinse them off. Maybe I'll eat them, maybe I won't, but they'll be in the picture. Nana says my plates need to be more colorful. A labor of love. Oh, thank you, Miles. I'm gonna taste the. Mm. Oh. Breakfast is ready. All right. So, let me get pictures for our community tab. And Condemnia, if it's okay, I will tag you. You are the first. Um, Maggie Meals special request. You and your veggie omelet are making history. Mm, mm, mm. One more time. Mm -hmm. I may even open it up for the picture. All right, photo time. Beautiful. All right, so it's gonna take several pictures and then we'll do the chat and chow. And I'll tell you how your omelet tastes. Yes, Maggie pictures, get at it. Get to it, Maggie. Yes, I'm coming. All right, so happy. Let's see, turn the oranges. So happy you guys are here. It's beautiful. Some with the flash, some without. And I'm gonna lift it up. I think I got the money shot. <sighs> Sorry, I'm so excited, okay. And pull up a chair. Let me cut it in half first so you can see that view. Get the fruit out of the way. Tastes good through the screen. All right, I just cut it in half. All right, I'm pulling up a chair. I'm ready to eat. Let me give you your first taste. I'm so excited. Thank you, Miles. I condemn you. Excellent uh, recommendation. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna take the first bite and then we're gonna Chat and chow. It's so good. Let me bring you guys down here. So good. All right. And Instagram. Oh. Trying to get everything. All right. Oh. 
allergy season here. Hold on. Wash my hands. All right, let's see. All right, let's see if you guys can. Oh, so good. All right, so let's chat and chow. I usually eat in my lap, but I'm going to keep it on the counter just because I don't want to mess up. But it is so good. It's so good. Maybe I'll put, I don't know, condemn you any hot sauce, salsa. I'm sorry, condemn you. I thought we'd do the chat and chow. Let me know if you'd prefer me not to eat. I'm sorry. Drop the mic. <laughs> Thank you, God's girl. Yeah, it's excellent. It's excellent. Everything. Pepper jelly. Leanne's on. I don't have pepper jelly. You mentioned that before. I have regular jelly. What about hot sauce? I have Cholula, which is the uh, Latin hot sauce. I have regular Louisiana. I have medium salsa. Since this is Condemia's meal, um, what would you put on your omelet? <laughs> You're going to enjoy in spirit? Okay, y'all. Condemia's veggie omelet. Excellent. Mm. I don't know if anybody on the West Coast, one of my coworkers from California turned me on to this uh, Cholula hot sauce. I like Latin flavors. You could do regular um, Louisiana, Texas Pete. You're gonna make this tomorrow with grits? Absolutely. The kids say, I'm bussin'. Clearly I'm old, but yeah, it is very good. I'm just trying to get this open. Y'all know these tear strips. No hot sauce. Yes, sir. Okay. Smile says Cholula is bomb. Okay. He says no hot sauce. You got it. Salsa or just some extra black pepper. I want a little heat, but if you want me to eat it like this, I will. Mm. Mm. all the veggies. This could be a nice meatless Monday. Um, it could be breakfast. For me, it's breakfast for dinner. Mushroom, red onion, pepper jack cheese. Oh. So what did I miss in the comments? Y'all have been going in. So let's see, we talked about what's new in Maggie's class. So I've eaten half, I'm gonna eat the other half. There's your cross section, I got lots of pictures, it's beautiful. I'll get one more. Um, so yesterday we talked about, someone asked if we wanted to have a name for my um, community. Those of us who love to eat, who love to cook, uh, who just like to watch me cook and eat. Um, and you guys were tossing out names and voting on names. So you guys have named yourself the scholars. So you are Maggie scholars. Welcome to my class. Um, I think you all said that Nana is the dean or the principal. So I'll have to let her know so she can come to my classroom and observe. Y'all already know Nana's going to be on me, but that's okay. Um, so Nana is the dean, and I think you said Alex is the taste tester or the spirit animal. No, you can do it with two eggs, Padilla. It's just a little bit smaller. So I did a three-egg omelet, and honestly, selfishly, because um, 
I eat about six to eight um, grams of protein per meal and an egg is two. So this gives me six plus the cheese since I'm not doing any meat tonight, which is fine. Excuse me, the eggs are my meat. You can do a two egg omelet. It would just be a little bit smaller or a little bit thinner. So if you did a two egg omelet, it would be kind of like crepe thin in a um, in the same size skillet, which is fine. Just be careful when you go to uh, turn it over because it could break if it's really thin. You know, I wanted to get that nice brown on it. Okay, Condemia says we need to put you on game with that term money shot. Please. Do I want to know or do I not want to know? Sounds like I don't want to know. Y'all see, this is what happens every time I try to be cool and then I just am not. So I think what you're telling me is I don't need to use it. I'm so sorry. Y'all, I don't get out. It's just me and my apron. I don't know. Even worse. <laughs> Y'all, do you know how many videos I've been saying that? Okay, here's another story time. <clears throat> so if you've, if you've been on my profile or you see any of my videos where I say, you know, in my mind, I imagine myself hosting these like fancy dinner parties and twirling around in a cocktail dress and having, you know, this like life and then life of a lady of leisure. And then, you know, I come back to earth and the kids need something. And a friend of mine was like, you know, a lady of leisure is like a low key prostitute. I was like, Well, won't say that again. Y'all, I didn't know. I really didn't know. Clearly, you know me well enough to know Maggie did not know. Let's just talk about the snacks. A bite for you, a bite for you, a bite for me, y'all. Okay, thank you for correcting me because I clearly had no idea. Mm. All right, so we'll just call them photos. Mona. I'm not going to, um, I may not be a lady of leisure, but I am a lady. Thank you, Mona. Big Bad, changing subjects, I have to thank Big Bad. He is, uh, just like Condemia is my first uh, Maggie Meals special request. Big Bad Bull is my first, oh, prize picks. Thank you, Bill. Um, Big Bad Bull was very generous to send me my first um, cash app. I do have a cash app. I think the link is in the description. It's just dollar sign M Brown. I'll never ask, but if you guys ever want to support the channel, I appreciate everything. Um, you just being here and uh, watching my live streams and engaging makes me incredibly happy. Um, I love the engagement. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for, um, you know, subscribing. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. When I get to a thousand subscribers, you know, I'll be eligible for um, monetization with YouTube. But um, you guys just fill my heart because I 
honestly just thought everybody knew this stuff. So the fact that we can come together and share ideas and recipes and different things that we've tried, it just makes me happy. Snuggles, you're talking to me right now. Did you not hear my whole spiel about the cook-along? Ho, ho, ho. Mm. Um, let's see what else. You can also support, I'm going to do a better job about the links because I know you guys are out there and honestly, this is just a labor of love for me. It's a passion project because the kids are getting older and so I want to have something for me. But um, you can support, um, if you buy anything, if you you know see anything that I use that you want to try and I have a link for it, you can use the affiliate links. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. There's a PayPal, there's a Venmo, but really you just being here. Sriracha. Oh, that sounds yummy. Condemia said no hot sauce. It's very good. And this is actually really great flavors mixing together. It's excellent. If you like extra heat, put some heat on it, but I'm at the last bite. All right. So Condemia. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> Let's eat the fruit. Yeah, so I'm going to repeat in case anybody missed it. So my channel has turned into like a cooking how-to channel, a little bit of history for anyone who's new here. Mm. You know how the citrus gets you right here, but it's good. So I've been on my, I've tried a lot of diets, you know, gone up and down. I've struggled for a long time, but this is year three for me on the food sensitivity test. And this is what's working for me because I found something that I can maintain for the rest of my life. And when I started this journey, I would take pictures, prize pictures of my um, food and I would post on social media. Those of you like Leanne and people that have known me for a long time, I would just post what I made and people would ask me, did you make that? And I would say, yeah, I made that. But I understand now, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at presentation. So sometimes the pictures look really good. And so people ask, did you make that? And then I started posting the before picture and the after picture. So just all of the ingredients and then the final shot. You're going to make me cry. Thank you. I did this for you, Condemia. It's my dinner, but, you know, I I appreciate it. I, my phone is over there. I put everything on. Do not disturb, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. Y'all, really? Really? Don't make Maggie cry. It's not hard to do. So anyway, I post the before and after pictures, right? I think, Condemnia, you were one of the first ones who asked, where is the super chat button? I don't have a super chat because I'm not monetized. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, so then I post the before and after pictures and then people would say, oh, how did you make that? So then I would go into my comments and I would start commenting what I actually did to make the finished product. Excuse me. And so um, my first Maggie the Substitute Teacher videos were me narrating what I was doing with the pictures that I had taken. Um, literally, y'all, it was so like, I would do something, like I would chop the vegetables and I'd take a picture. And then I, you know, if I was making this omelet, I would whisk the eggs and I would take a picture. So I had all these still pictures and then I would just put them together in a video and talk over it. Because, you know, um, I'm relatively new to lead attorney for any of us who, you know, came here through lead. And um, it always struck me when he said, if you're over 35, you have information that people need to know. Because, you know, I was just over here living my private life, not bothering anybody. And when I would post my food, people would always say, that looks amazing. 
you need a cookbook. When your cookbook comes out, I want an autographed copy, you know, all this stuff. And I was like, oh, you guys are so nice. That's so nice. And then when I heard Lead say that you need to make a YouTube channel, so I was like, okay, fine. I heard it, right? Three times. I'll make a YouTube channel. And my first videos, if you scroll all the way back, are me just narrating. And then someone came on just like you all and was like, are you going to actually do any cooking demonstrations? And I'm like, who wants to see a cooking demonstration? Again, I'm learning. <laughs> so I, um, I turned on the camera and I'm like, okay. Because y'all know usually cooking videos are pretty short, right? They break everything down into like 10 minutes or less and they have it already made in the oven and they just take it out and voila. So I was like, who's going to actually be here to watch me cook? But you all keep coming back and now it's actually easier for me to just cook in real time. And it holds me accountable because I only eat when I go live and cook for you all. Love TLA. He's amazing. I'm in his Patreon. I bought his, his course. I'm learning so much. Um, so Snuggles, to answer your question, um, I have cooked. A girlfriend of mine wanted to do like a 70th birthday or something for her father. And I recommended a professional, you know, chef for her because I'm not a professional. I'm just a home cook. And, um, you know, she was trying to get, she wanted something very specific and the chef was trying to do what the chef wanted to do, not what the customer wanted. And um, I love to serve, you know, mom is a, a retired home economics teacher. And so that's why this was great for me, um, Condemia, to really ask you what you want and, you know, follow instructions and see if I could do it. So long story short, Snuggles, um, she was struggling with the chef. And so I opened my big mouth and I was like, oh, that's not too hard. I could do something like that. And I said it like that. And she was like, you're hired. And I was like, ah, I didn't mean it like that. But so dad wanted a soul food <laughs> birthday. It was like a surprise party. It was all his favorite soul food stuff I don't eat. Y'all, I was frying chicken. I did the ribeye. Um, I just all of that stuff. And they said it was amazing. I think there was 10 people, like seven adults and three kids. And so I went and I spent the whole day cooking. And, um, you know, so I have done it, but I don't like hire myself out clearly. <laughs> um, but yes. So Tanya says, do I have any special teas you drink once my eating window has clo closed? I make a... Um, apple cider vinegar tea. I'll show you. I actually had it this morning because like if I'm having a busy morning and I can't get to food yet, it's apple cider vinegar, lemon, and then I'll show you the sweetener that I use. I was looking for the the skinny syrups. I don't know, they may be in the pantry, but my metabolic specialist um, recommends this one, the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Um, it does settle, so sometimes you'll see some settling in the bottle, bottom, just shake it up. I don't really measure. I kind of do like a tablespoon or two into a mug, and then if you have fresh lemon, just cut it in half and squeeze it, or you can use the lemon juice. And um, I like sweet, and so I'll use my skinny syrups. Um, these are the zero sugar, zero calorie uh, sweeteners that you see me put in my coffee and whatnot. So just lemon, vanilla, and apple cider vinegar with hot water. So I just put that in a mug, and of course my um, alkaline drops. Let me know if you don't know about those. Excuse me. And then I'll put it underneath the Keurig, and... Um, Brew it with hot water. Okay, 
So Snuggle says we should go up and host a cookathon. Who in the chat knows how to cook? I'd like to know who knows how to cook. And that's a good question. And we can all learn, you know, it's not something that you can say, oh, I've accomplished. I can cook a lot of things. I've been told I'm pretty good at it. Y'all know my parents still don't think I'm cooking. <laughs> you know, I'm African, born in Ghana, went home for Easter. And uh, my mom was telling my dad, you know, Maggie, she has a cooking channel on YouTube. And my dad said, and I quote, oh, Maggie, she's not cooking. She's just opening cans and boxes. So I never like felt like I was really good at this. I just enjoy doing it. And I do keep the cooking channels on. So I get a lot of inspiration. And then my Echo device that's in the kitchen, the screensaver, I have it uh, default to recipes. So I just try a whole bunch of stuff. You know, if it works, great. If it doesn't work, you know, try it again. Um, but yeah, hopefully, Tanya, that answers your question. But teas are a really great way. Sipping on something hot is a really good way to just kind of stave off um, hunger. I'm hungrier in the morning, so my bigger meals are in midday. And then, like, it's 640 my time. Try to finish eating by 7 if I can, so this is a good, good time. So Condemia says, you know how to cook, but you mostly eat raw food, yogurt, and smoothies. Yeah. You know, sometimes um, you do what you can. I mean, y'all, I've been working from home since the pandemic, but before that, I had the two-hour corporate commute. You know, I had the big executive job with all the meetings and, you know, all of that. And I'm grateful for my experience, but I would go from meeting to meeting to meeting, so hungry, and then by the time you eat, you're either eating in the vending machine or overeating because you don't care. I totally understand. So being home has been a blessing for me. Leanne, I tried. The bell pepper egg rings, I've done it three times. I'm going to continue to do it. And once I get it right, then I'll come back on and show you guys. So what Leanne is talking about If you guys saw a couple of videos ago, if you're familiar with, I've heard it called a one-eyed jack and there's an egg in a hole or whatever, but you take a piece of sandwich bread and you cut a hole out of the middle, like with a, a measuring cup and you crack an egg in the middle and you cook it in the pan. So you have the egg inside the piece of bread. My oldest likes to make those. Those are good. Butter the pan and, and have a fried egg in the bread. But if you don't eat gluten, then um, somebody said they made the, which one of y'all said you made the nachos, the chicken nachos? Someone was in the comments saying they made their own cassava tortillas. But you get a bell pepper and you slice it into the ring and you put that in the skillet and crack the egg inside. So that, you know, replaces the bread. It's beautiful if you can get it. My egg kind of seeps out the side, so I'm working on it though. I really need to be able to cut my slice clean so that it lays flat in the pan and there's not an edge that's up so the egg doesn't run out. Toad in a hole, exactly, see Miles? I've heard one-eyed Jack, toad in the hole. The um, boys used to be in Boy Scouts and they, they called it something else too. Mm. So snuggles, would you participate in the cookathon? <laughs> Who wants to see snu what snuggles can cook? You call it egg in a basket. See, I love that. Isn't that awesome? Toad in a hole, egg in a basket, one-eyed Jack. I'm telling you, right? Y'all, we really are the same, you know. Coming from an immigrant family, you guys know about my travels and everything. And just the more of the world that I see, we really are the same, you know. We want the same thing. Miles would watch Snuggles cook. Snuggles, what are you making for the cookathon? I feel like I am in a perpetual cookathon for you, Snuggles. I go live. 
every day, twice a day, to cook what I'm eating and narrate you guys through it. We are bonding, Condemnia. Y'all, seriously, we are building a community and you guys are here. Um, this means so much to me because, you know, it started with me just documenting my weight loss journey. And as I get closer to my goal, you know, I'm not going to stop. I'm eating every day. And so I'm cooking every day. And I don't eat a lot. So what I eat, I want to enjoy. And, you know, I've tried a lot of stuff that's not good. I've made a lot of meals that it did not work. And you guys are here and you embrace and support and you give me feedback and you give me ideas. Did we talk about the apron? Ah, Snuggles, I just came back from Costa Rica and uh, we talked about this a few videos ago. I put some, I'm part of a travel group. We travel somewhere new every year. We had a couple years postponed because of the pandemic, but I've been to Paris, London, South Africa, uh, Costa Rica, Australia, Ghana, where I was born. Um, I've been to a lot of places and I've got more planned this summer. So if anybody missed it, if you're on YouTube, go to my community tab because I still have some more to post. But I was posting every day like what we did, uh, my activities, what I was eating. I did that zip lining in Costa Rica. That was a whole thing. Um, that was a once in a lifetime and for me, one and done. So Leanne wants to know, what is my favorite trip of all time? Hmm. I have to tell you, South Africa probably takes the cake. And I know I'm biased because I'm African. But y'all, we came to America when I was one. So a lot of people, and then my ex-husband, I still have his last name because we have kids together. And my last name is Brown. So a lot of people, because of the way that I speak and because I have like Margaret Brown, which is a very common name, you know, a lot of people don't know that I'm African. But when I went to South Africa, it was probably the most life-changing experience. The people, the food, the history, all the stuff that we know, the natural beauty, being on top of Table Mountain and watching a blanket of clouds come over you and go over the mountain, um, to see the birth pay, birth place of civilization where the oldest human remains have been found, uh, going down into the caves, safari, one word, safari. And I am not a nature person and I'm not an animal person. I don't like zoos per se. They seem kind of staged. But when you get up at four in the morning to bundle up and to go out and you actually see the big five, what are they? Of course, elephant, rhinoceros, one of the cats, lion. I can't remember, but we saw all big five. Y'all, I may have to post this video. We are to see nature in its undisturbed environment. We were in a Jeep, you know, those open air Jeeps. We had our guide and you're just driving along and he's talking to you about whatever's, you know, you see everything. It was like being in the movie Lion King. A bird flies over and it looks like Zazu from the morning report. Um, we stopped because a caravan of elephants crossed the road. And when I tell you they don't mind you at all and their trunks are just swinging and you, the majesty, absolutely. South Africa, if you can go, I would recommend it. I took my son, life-changing, life-changing. Um, but yes, we are bonding. So yeah, I'm going to continue to cook. I'm going to continue to, you'll probably see more of the family this summer when school is out. Um, but you guys are giving me so many ideas. You've named yourself the Scholars. Uh, we have the cook-alongs, so snuggles, let me know when you're ready. Um, and all I said about that is you pick the meal. I'll post the recipe. We just need to plan it in advance so that we can get the ingredients. I will always make the substitute version. You can make the full flavor version, and I'll bring you up side by side, and we'll go through each step together. But uh, my channel is a how-to channel, so I'm always going to be cooking. <laughs> Condemn you. Ah. 
Y'all, when I tell you, we stayed, I may have to post this. I documented everything. I put it in a Google Doc because I do kind of a travel blog when I'm traveling for my own memories, but people like to go on the trip with me. I think I have one for South Africa, so I'll see if I can find it for you. We were in these like, not huts, but you know, out there in the bush, like their hotels are, I mean, they're very nice, but they're like in the environment and like a zebra may come through and they'll tell you on your way to breakfast, if you see any hyenas, just clap them away. I'm like, <laughs> this is what I'm supposed to do to get to breakfast. Are you kidding me? I saw a lion. A lion saw me and I'm in the Jeep. Mona, you come out, so you come out of your, um, we had these beautiful, like, you know what a teepee is, right? So, but it wasn't a teepee. It was round. It had electricity and everything, but it had that kind of, and so the, the property, it was like, a, a hotel on for the safari. So you stay there. And so they have like a breakfast area. So you have to come outside to go to the breakfast area and like, y'all I'm coming out and I'm looking like left and right, because the animals are undisturbed. They are not bothered by you at all. And yes, the monkeys, the hyenas, all of that, they said, clap them away. I was like, how is this my life? But um, yeah, Condemia, I'm telling you, when you see nature in its true state, and I'm not talking about a circus lion or a zoo elephant, but one that could stampede and take you down, um, I'm sure our safari guide had a pew pew, um, uh, tranquilizer or something, but I locked eyes with a lion and he started doing that slow, you know how cats just kind of do that. <laughs> We're in the Jeep and they're like, Hey, 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 Hey. And when your guide says, don't move and be quiet, I'm like, And then my son, who knows me, he's like, Mom, don't say anything. <laughs> because God said so. Y'all, again, one of those things. <laughs> one of those things. When I tell you life-changing, <laughs> life-changing. Have you seen the videos of the giraffes? <laughs> Wow. Have you seen the videos of the giraffes where people are having breakfast or lunch and the giraffes have their heads through the window? Let me tell you about that, Ville. There is a safari. Any of y'all here in the Atlanta area, south of here, on the way to Columbus, before you get to Callaway Gardens, there is something called, I think it's called the Wild Animal Safari. Schools go there on field trips and basically it's like this thing where <laughs> you can board this bus and they give you like a cup like this of um, animal food, like little pellets so you can feed the animals. Y'all, another traumatic moment for me, but I'm a mom, right? The kids want to go, you take them. So it's a school bus that they've reconfigured because they have like all this land and then they have a path that you get on the bus, you buy your ticket, you get on the bus and the bus drives you. You can take your own car, no ma'am, no sir, or you can get on the bus and they drive you through the path and the animals come and you can feed them through the window. When I tell you this giraffe, like they know how to like stick their head in and when they, open their mouth and there are no windows. Like there's no way to close it. They've removed the window. So it's like an open air vehicle, a little too close for comfort. So yeah, no, no, I'm with you, Condemia. Um, yeah, that's so far. I never felt afraid for my life 
but it was the closest that I've ever felt. And then it doesn't help that the guide is telling you, hey, 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 that's a, um, what is the name? Like a, a master elephant. I'm making it up. He was like, if he charges, he can, like they can come through my house, my big old brick house and just like bulldoze through it. And like, yeah. Titanium, you're not overseas hiring a driver. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, you're not driving overseas. Yeah. My mom and dad are uh, both retired. Mom is a retired home economics teacher. She's corrected me that it changed the name to family and consumer sciences, but they actually have a home in Ghana. And, um, you know, the plan was them for them to be like, you know, six months here and six months there. Um, but when they go home and it's very common, you all in um, developing countries because labor is, you know, cheaper. So you can be middle class like me. I'm average. Um, you can be middle class. You can have a driver. You can have, you know, a cook. You can have, you know, like a garden boy, like a groundskeeper. You can have all of that stuff. Titanium says you want, you watch nature the way it was meant to be. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. You know, guys, it's one of those things, you know, I talked about it this travel group that I'm in, and it's a great way to travel as a single woman. I alternate. I like to take the kids. I want them to see the world because, you know, being an immigrant, I know how it feels growing up and sounding different and being made fun of because of your name. You know, my maiden name is an African name. My parents have very strong African accents. And so I never wanted the boys, even though they're all American, to be like, what are you eating? What are you wearing? So I it's important for them for it's important to me for them to experience other cultures. And, um, you know, I'm one of those people. It's like, if it's on the itinerary, I'm going to try it now. I may not do it again, but, um, I don't want to chicken out. I want to try everything. Yes. Like subscribe and share <laughs> snuggles. We talk about snacks here. Um, Condemia says all it took was one of the videos all it took was one video of a <laughs> two curious tourists to get too close to an already annoyed lion. Let me tell you something. Um, there are rules for a reason. I'm a rule follower. Like if you tell me don't feed the animals, I'm not going to feed the animals. When we went to Costa Rica, we went to a beautiful beach, but they have monkeys there. Y'all, I haven't posted it yet, but I, had to, I didn't fight a monkey, but I had to yell at a monkey to get back because. <sighs> so there's this beautiful beach and they have like a snack shop that's, you know, up the hill and far away. So you're there all day. You want to go get something, but they have monkeys who will take your food. And so imagine like this, like a uh, concession stand. And then they have this area with like picnic tables and the monkeys are on, um, I have pictures of this. I haven't posted it yet, but I will. The monkeys are on the rooftop of the concession stand watching you eat. And literally they're there. I mean this y'all, they show their teeth. They're like, <laughs> daggum howler monkeys or whatever they are. When I tell you, I literally, let's say this was my plate. <laughs> I've eaten it. I ordered, and it's not, it's concession food, right? It's that like rectangular cafeteria style pizza. It's like prison rules. I'm having to guard my plate. I have paid to come on this trip. I have paid overpriced concession food. There was a kid who put his food down. Mom said, go wash your hands. He turned around. The monkey jumped from the roof grabbed whatever he got and scaled back up. So literally you're trying to eat, protecting your food from the daggum monkeys. That is too close to comfort for me. So my point is that we're a, <laughs> exactly, Val, I'm a rule follower. So the guide is like, when you go to this beach, 
you're not allowed to bring any food. And they literally like search your bags as you enter to make sure you don't have any food. Exactly. So you can only go to this like one concession stand and you have to eat right there. But the monkeys, like if you look up, they're in the trees just waiting and they, they were taking stuff. They were, it was, woo, I had to fight a monkey. Oh, thank you, Condemia. Um, okay, sorry, I didn't mean to yell. I have to work on that. That's one of the things that I did learn in the etiquette class. I, um, I get excited and I get loud. Okay, so Titanium says, from what you heard, you need to shoo the monkeys away. Yes, they do. They try to assert dominance. Y'all, I'm telling you, these animals that are in their environment, they are not bothered at all by you. They are not afraid. It's not like they scurry away. They stand there and they're watching you. And um, there were some people who were like, oh, cute little monkeys. I was like, no, no, no. Do not encourage them because the, I feel like they study humans and then, you know, they come down. Somebody had a fruit cup, like a, a fruit bowl with like watermelon, pineapple, all the daggum monkey came down and got in her fruit and like grabbed his stuff and scampered back up. And she's like, ha, 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 ha. no, ma'am, no, sir. But yeah. I was clapping the hyenas in South Africa. I was yelling at the monkeys. I was like, no. So, sorry. <laughs> That's only for the monkeys. It's not for y'all. <sighs> the clapping. <laughs> Tanya says, clapping wouldn't work for me. <laughs> you would be the one that gets injured. Y'all, I'm serious. I'm like, how do I find myself here? It's like, I'm not that adventurous person, but it's like, I'm surrounded, I'm surrounded by nature. But uh, obviously I've traveled enough places that I've come back safe and gotten all my shots. But yeah, I think you just listen to the, um, the guides, you know, I never go alone. I always go like with a group. So there's a guide who can, you know, make sure that I'm okay. But yeah, but, uh, once you, once you're safe, um, it's amazing. It, it's something that I'll never forget. So I'll try and find my, I made a Google doc of my travels. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'll post that so you can see. Yeah. But I'm telling you nature, when you're in their environment. Yeah. But it's beautiful. When we went to Costa Rica, it felt like being in the movie Rio you know, the macaw, the, um, the colorful bird that looks like a rainbow. We saw the sloths. We saw all of that stuff. Uh, South Africa, it was like being in Lion King. Oh, you guys have filled my heart. Um, so we've done our chat and chow. I think I'm going to do my egg fast tomorrow. I do the egg fast once a week. I know I had breakfast for dinner, but um, Condemnia, I hope you enjoyed your virtual veggie omelet. Um, again, if anybody is interested in cooking along with me, just let me know in advance so I can post the recipe and I can get the ingredients. Level one, sit back, relax, and let me cook for you just like you did tonight. Level two, you can cook but off camera and just post your finished product and tag me. Level three, if you want to cook in real time uh, with me, Thank you, Condemnia. If you want to cook in real time, uh, just let me know and we'll get our technology uh, set up so we can be side by side and we'll go through each ingredient and every step together. Uh, if you guys go back in the history, if you haven't seen it, I've done two cook-alongs. One was crab cakes and one was squash lasagna and they both turned out really well. So you can look back at that format and if that's something you guys want to do, let me know. I eat every day, so I cook every day. So I give you guys a post every day. You have um, made me very happy being here. Thank you for the support, for all of the support for just being here. And um, we'll see. I think I'll do tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to go um, do some like girl stuff. Yes. Share the cook-alongs on my community page. Okay. 
Great. Thank you, Titanium. Thank you for the feedback. I will post the uh, cook along so you guys can see. Absolutely. And thank you for the feedback. Keep it coming. Spam me with recipes um, and we'll do some more tomorrow. It'll be afternoon time. I'm going to do like a facial and a massage. Um, so tomorrow evening uh, and afternoon we'll cook. All right, you guys. So Instagram, thank you for being here. And Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. Thank you all so much for being here. Mwah. How do I end it? Oh.